Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So the Colorado Buffaloes offense takes the field to start this game off. This has an old school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, the old school because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention, but this guy's so good. He is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. Scanning the field, it's Sanders. Going for the big play. He's got it downfield for a huge game. That defense got gassed, but they finally get him to the turf at the 47. Man, if I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Wide out in motion. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Here they come on second and 10 from the 47 after the incompletion. Looking for room, it's Hayden. Just a one yard gain leaves him with third and nine. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage, they create separation, they wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. The Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. All right, so not a home run play for the offense, but I do like the creativity, and I like how they're going to stress this defense and do it in less conventional ways. This offense set up with a second and short. Off play action. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Now 
not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Back to pass, it's Bowers. And they can't make the connection on third down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And here comes the punt team. He's got great speed. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Off play action on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Hunter. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Colorado! Yeah, and really nice job seeing the middle of the field. Seeing, I can go deep and attack the middle of the field. And you can tell he runs a post, balls right on him, catches the football, and then gets to gallop right into the end zone for a touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is 5. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Running to the left. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Back to throw, it's Bowers. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Balls at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Setting up the screen. Oh, what a move to get open. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. New set of downs after that completion. Off the play fake on first down. Throws to the tight end. He's got it. And a big time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. Well, the offense is trying to make it look like run, so they play fake. And the tight end, he comes right out of his stance. Vertical downfield gets one-on-one -on -one with a much smaller DB and is able to make the catch for a big game. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. The give from the gun. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. Trying play action. It's complete to the left. 
Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. And this offense is just so dynamic because they've got playmakers at all the skill positions, right? We just saw a big play in the running game. Now we see one in the passing game. There's not one dude that you can key on here if you're on defense to try and slow them down. They'll leave it with the lone back. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we've got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? Catch in the middle. It's Montgomery. Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Back to throw. It's Bowers. He looks that one in nicely. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. They're going to run it, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. You ain't lying, getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. Lining up to add another. Right down the middle. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. And the Buffaloes racing to the line in the hurry up. Hand off to the lone back. And he is just engulfed at the line by this giant defensive tackle. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They try to pop a run on the draw, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Buffaloes will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. First snap of this drive will come from their own 32. They'll leave it with him. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. We've played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats.
They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. They're more physical up front in the trenches. And this running back and his ability to break tackles, that is just so demoralizing for this defense. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Montgomery. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Yeah, and, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. Oh, it's a reverse. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a man. It's Bowers. Finds a tight end. Delivers the stiff arm. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. And he's got it in the end zone. This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT gives him a 14-7 lead. A 69-yard touchdown drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back looking for help. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. The Buffaloes want to pick up the tempo. Red pass, it's complete. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. What well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. 
Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. The incompletion leads to second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. So as a defensive guy, they line up in a formation. You know they're heavy on one side. And then all of a sudden, boom, two guys pull, and they go the other direction. So you can't really load up and play that. That counter keeps you off balance as a defense and makes you really be honest. Dropping back, it's Sanders. He'll take a shot. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? And the Buffaloes send out the punt unit. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. They come to the line for the first play of the drive, snapping it from the 21. Leaves it with the running back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Uh, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Strong safety blitzes can sometimes be hard to see coming from a quarterback standpoint because we're used to seeing the strong safeties insert themselves into the box, but you don't oftentimes see them blitz like that. That can be tricky to watch. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Looking deep down the right side. And the ball is intercepted. He'll try to take it back. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover. But they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Makes the catch. It's Hunter. He's brought down. Solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice to play some nice catch. And the Buffaloes in the hurry up. The play action fake. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And he makes a grab. Defense draped all over him, and it's first and goal at the nine. That wide receiver on the outside is dangerous. When you're playing zone coverage, it's really hard because you're not chasing him. You can't really get hands on him. You got to make sure you send more guys his direction. Maybe slide those linebackers toward that wide receiver so you got a little more help on the outside. With the run on first and goal. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Nothing's did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. 
And when you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. Ready to try the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Line gets set, first down. The give to the back. Powers through the defender. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. This running back just doesn't go down easily. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Now on second down. Back to pass, it's Bowers. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Trying to pick up a first down. Takes it from the gun on third down. Got his man quickly. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He's going to pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They want to just keep throwing it. A strike downfield. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. His offense lines up feeling awfully good after that big play. Working that left side now. They make the stop at the 37, but not before he's got 10 yards and the first down. And it makes it so hard on the defense trying to stop these guys because they're not just throwing it to wide receivers in the passing game. They've got a huge weapon here at tight end. And he just shows you how difficult he is to bring down after the catch. It's complete to the right. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Hey, listen, as a receiver, you're running that hitch route against man coverage. You can't loaf on it, right? I know it's just a little short throw, but you've got to make the defender think you might be going deep. So a nice job not just taking it easy on the play. He put his foot in the ground. He drove back to the ball and made it easy on his quarterback. To the air, it's Bowers. They're setting up the screen. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn upfield for a big gainer. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Gets rid of it. Grabbed in the middle. It's Montgomery. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. 
Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Looking for the score! Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on as many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked up. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Dumps it to the back. He's got it on the move. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. The offense burns its third and final timeout of the half. And after yet another third down conversion, they've got it first and goal. It's complete! And he won't be able to push his way in. He stopped at the one. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback be going the other direction. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead. And unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency. And that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. The Buffaloes will kick it off to start the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. A little bit backed up to start this drive from their own 18-yard line. He'll keep it himself. Picks up the first down, still moving. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. A really smart pull and run by that quarterback. Wherever your eyes are supposed to be for you to do the read option, put your eyes there. If he comes aggressively, boom, I pull that football, I run down the field and make big plays. So it's, it's as simple as that. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's that simple. Put your eyes where they belong. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of the spot. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking downfield, it's Bowers. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down tie game here early in the second half and offensively you're hoping to get something going but after that incompletion it kind of kills all of your momentum this quarterback is really going to have to lock in here for the rest of this game if they're going to win the punt team makes its way onto the field this will be the second time they've had to kick it away on the return it's Horn, and they'll get him down after the return at the 27 yard line and the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense got to stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Off the play fake. Shoots it to the left. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. 
That's a great job by the DB playing the ball in the air. You see it all the time. DBs kind of get turned around. The wide receiver goes up and makes a catch. No, sir. DB, great position, knocks the ball down for an incompletion. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He'll do it himself. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Well, this defense knew that they were going to be seeing some option in this game. And right now, everybody's doing a nice job playing their assignments. On the third play of that drive, they were expecting it and everyone communicating and all rallying to the football. That was nice to see it through the coaching staff. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll wave for the fair catch and haul it in at the 25. First down here for the offense. Pulls it, fired complete. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Able to pick up a couple on that last one. It's second and eight from their own 27. Looking for a man. It's Bowers. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And he needed one yard, and he didn't get it. The defense won the battle up front. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They bring the punter onto the field now. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. When we were throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early, and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. Sweet feet on the move. Ball noses his way through. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, this guy is so dynamic, and that's why you want to try to get him the ball as many ways as you can. That time, it's a screen throw, and he had some nice blocks downfield, but with his speed and elusive running ability, this dude is dangerous. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. And the Buffaloes want to crank the tempo. Fast motion from the offense. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Trying to impose their will on the ground as he stopped after a five-yard pickup to the 33. I think they called that knowing they weren't going to hit a home run. So why would you call it then? Well, you call it so third down becomes an easier down. It's not third and long where I have to pass the football. Now all options on the table. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. Hard-earned yards, man. you got to get these first downs any way you can. And sometimes it's not going to be easy. You can't just do it conventionally, handing it off. This offense is going to have to be creative. Football is a game of inches, and you've just got to find the angles to give yourself an advantage. That creative play call right there really helped them out. 
Wide receiver coming across in motion. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Working the middle. Can White cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And when this quarterback is in a rhythm, this offense is really hard to stop. You've seen that on this drive. He's three for three, but they're also running the ball well. Everything they're dialing up right now is working. And the Buffaloes are threatening on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Buffs! They take the lead with the six. Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time when we see it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack, that was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Finds his tight end. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make the stop. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Here's the handoff. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Bowers. Pass on the way, it's picked off! And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And I tell you what, when defenses play zone, all eyes are on the quarterback. You have a zone to drop to, but you're setting on the quarterback, reading his eyes. Great job by the defense, understanding the ball was coming out, breaks on the football, goes and makes the INT. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, Dave. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. The Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry-up. Looking to throw on second down. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They've done the work to build a nice cushion. Now to bring it home as we check out the stats after three quarters. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. 
On third down, going up top. Gets it out fast. Across the 25, he's got room. Touchdown, Colorado! That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead, now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. They're just about ready to kick it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here comes the offense on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. They'll give it to the back. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. But whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front. Oh, the ball squirts out. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. You've got to have better ball security on offense. The football possession, that is priceless. Losing possession, turning the ball over, that kills you in games. That loses games. And that is a bad, bad play at a bad time. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Looking to throw at Sanders. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Well, the quarterback knew where he wanted to go with the ball. His intended target just wasn't open, so the quarterback made sure he put that football in the stands. Still on the 35-yard line, they'll try it again on second and 10. He's looking to throw. Fires on the move. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. Got room on the return. Pass to 10. All the way in for the touchdown. How fast did this game just change? Offense in the lead with the football looking great. Defense makes the big play. We've got ourselves a ball game now.
The AT unit on the field. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. to the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, so I know the defense is going to be aggressive, right? They got their stop. They forced a third down. How aggressive does the offense want to be in response? Because if I throw the football, get a first down, I can run this clock almost out. This defense has to make a choice, but this offense, how aggressive do you want to be? To the air, it's Sanders. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what we saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Looking left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow. And they got the flap. Got it in the middle. It's hard. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. This offense could not have executed in this situation any better, just draining some time off the clock. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. Balls at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Looking to pass. It's Sanders. Unloads to the wideout. Wide open downfield. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. And what a big conversion by the offense there. With the lead late, you're just trying to stay on the field and bleed the clock. At this point, it's tick, 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 tick. Let's run this clock down as low as we can before we snap it. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance, perhaps, to put it out of reach. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On the move. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Buffaloes! The 
offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale, you know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'd love to put a long drive together here as they start from their own 21. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Looking to throw, it's Bowers. He finds his man, and he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. And you're going to win this game. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He wants to throw it again. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Looking to the big tight end. Finds a man by himself. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. To throw, it's Bowers. The throw to the outside is complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Well, this offense has a ton of work left ahead of him here in this two-minute situation late in the game, but the drive off to a good start. You get the first down, you get out of bounds, you work in the perimeter of the field. That is exactly what you want to do. From the red zone, looking for a man. He's got it and still on his feet. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Hey, guys, this running back's not just catching check downs or swing routes. You can get him vertically down the field and let him go to work, especially when you get man coverage. Take advantage. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. And he takes this one into the end zone, and all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. 
And listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. They'll try to tack one more on their score. They tack on the extra point, and they're down a touchdown, 35-28. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Just over 20 seconds to play. They must recover this onside kick to have a chance. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. 